Hello everybody, welcome to the channel. My name is Paul, this is It's a Camping Thing, and you join me on yet another camping adventure. But the question on everybody's lips is, where exactly am I? And don't cheat and look at the titles. You know, see you in a minute. Yes, that's right, you join me here in the Lake District for my third time this year, my ninth time since 2019, May 2019, I first set foot in the Lake District. I didn't know much about it before I came. All I knew was the fact that it was a very good, picturesque place, and my interest in photography back then was blooming no end, and I loved my photography. The only trouble was I was getting bored of all the same locations that was local to me. So I used camping and photography like a marriage made in heaven to explore more of this beautiful place we all call home. But the trouble is, the first place I came to, I fell in love with, and that's here, the Lake District, and it's changed me so much for the better. I used to be just photography and camping, photography and camping, and yes, life throws sometimes a bit of a curveball, and my ankle played up uh, last year when I tried to climb cat bells, and that was very unfortunate, but my desire to go wild camping pushed me, and May of this year, I did my first ever wild camp on an island just behind those trees over there on St. Herbert's Island. And that was all because my ankle was playing up and I couldn't climb a mountain or a fell as they're called. So I had to do something differently and that was use a kayak. So I bought a kayak and then I thought, oh dear, <laughs> I don't like deep water. I don't like swimming out in, in things like that. Swimming pools are fine, but not really my thing. So I, I learned, I taught myself to get rid of that fear. I got rid of that fear by, by swimming out in open water and going out a little bit deeper every time. And that was in May, and that was a trip of an absolute lifetime. So this place has changed me no end for the better. So now I've got a kayak, I've also got a paddle board. That's a, a new thing that I've tried, although I haven't yet to stand up on it yet. And I've done my first wild camping. And here, this week, that I'm in the Lake District, I'm gonna be doing campsite camping. I'm gonna be doing, hopefully, some wild camping and maybe some kayaking too. I've brought all the gear with me, and I'm really, really looking forward to it. This place for me, uh, touches a place in my soul that I never knew existed before I came here. The rustic beauty of those mountains is just like a gentle reminder of the fact that none of us are here for a long, long time. Those mountains have been here for millions of years and they'll stand there for millions more years, but we are just a fleeting moment and we've got to make the most of every single opportunity and every single day. And that is what I'm here to do t this week, to, to make the most of my time, to explore more of this beautiful place. Realistically, when I leave here, I won't be going home, but I'll be leaving home behind because I love it so much. And that is why, ultimately, I'm back in the Lake District. Oh, they are lovely here. Oh my God, back. I'm sorry, Paul Mesner. I love and respect your videos. I love your channel. I watch it as much as I can. Um, but that view, that view behind you doesn't get any better than this. I am, I am made up. I am like, oh my, yeah. I'm, I'm so happy. The only thing is I did actually forget the foil mat to go underneath. It's ooh sport pad because I don't have enough money to um, purchase an expensive mat. I'm skint. I can see the Keswick launch from here.
Yeah. So I'm using a, gonna be using a foil mat under this. Ah oh, man, this is just I just can't get over I just I I I kind of planned it in a way, I suppose, because I didn't want to bring a big tent. Initially, I was going to bring a Peshwell 4.1, um, but I know with this site that, you know, you don't have the big tents at the front spoiling the view for everybody else. So, um, yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm seriously made up. Uh, anybody who knows me knows me. I, anybody who knows me, it's not like I've had three beers or anything down the dog and gun. No. Um, I like my pillows, so I'm using my Trekology uh, Aid of 2.0 pillow. That's the base pillow. And then I've got my decathlon pillow to go on top because that is just extremely comfortable and yeah i love it absolutely love it and then all the bags that everything came in i'm putting together because otherwise i know when it comes to packing up i'll be like where did i put this somewhere did i put that right um lantern i've got yeah that'll do and then i've got a little little side little side one Anybody who knows me knows that I uh, chuck shoes, but um, I like to stay warm. I don't like being cold. I've got to, yeah, yeah. Um, so I'm going to use two sleeping bags. I know it's not quite right. Realistically, I'd have a nature hike down sleeping bag that I've got my eye on, um, but I'm going to make do. So I've got my yeah, Bango Nightstar 375 Alpha sleeping bag. That will be the one I sleep in. And then I'm using a Coleman Festival Blackout single. That's going to go over the top. Just again, just insulate really. Uh, bag of clothes here, that's what my blue bag is. I did actually colour code and a lot of planning goes involved. So once this is on, as far as I'm concerned, that's the tent up. Then I can chill out and relax for a little bit. Yeah. I might modify it tomorrow when I've got a bit more time, but I'm tired. That's cold. I got a little congregation of people watching me make an absolute tit of myself. I'm kind of regretting this, if I'm honest. I mean, it's knee high and not going good so far. Oh, I think I made it about, about a little, I couldn't get my words in. I think I made it out about twice as far as what I did when I first came in here in May. So this water's going to be a lot deeper. I mean, just have a look for yourself. <laughs> You tell me, I don't know. I, uh, I don't really want to look. Oh, you got water on land. So I made it to the boat, as you can see it, just there. I'm way out of my depth. So I'm gonna head back now. I made it as far as I can go, really. Uh, I don't really want to go any further. I'm getting tired now, so uh, I'm gonna head back. And what a view. One of you. Well, good evening, folks. Uh, the sun just set over there, so apologies about the low light at the moment. It's just gone seven o'clock at night, and I've had a really, really long day. Seven o'clock at night, I was up at 20 past one this morning. That was the first time I sort of woke up and went, oh, okay, and then stirred for about 10 minutes, and then thought, okay. And then half past one, I got up, and then I was on the road by just 
what, 2.41, 2.42 this morning. Stopped a couple of times, got here for seven o'clock and it's been an incredible day. And it culminated in the end, we're going for a swim. And my target was the boat that was my, okay, this is where the fear is. <laughs> and um, now I'm back. I've not only gone to that, I've actually doubled that distance, which is great. Um, fear is an incredible factor that we all have at some point or another but when we can overcome those fears I think it's incredible and the fact that in situations like this with open water swimming and not knowing what's below you that's a that's a fear um to overcome that I'm really chuffed with myself um but as far as the lakes is concerned I I went by a shop today and they got a sign and uh, it just encapsulates it all and it says uh, you may leave the Lake District, but once, you ha once you've been, it'll never leave you. And I just think that's just perfect. It's exactly how I feel. This place for me is, there is nothing or no place that I've ever been to that makes me feel like this. Yeah. So there we go. I babbled on far too long. It's gone seven, way gone seven o'clock. The sun's setting over there. So I'm going to uh, have a quiet night and I shall see you in the morning. Um, but the plan for this week is definitely going to be camping here at the, this campsite, the Keswick Camping and Caravanning Club, and um, possibly wild camping. Possibly. It depends on the weather. There's a lot of variables involved, but I've got my kayak here and I've also got my paddle board. So I'm going to try and do paddle boarding as well. And yeah, there's a lot, lot to fit in this week. So uh, I hope you join me for it. Sounds like the workmen are in. Anyway, it's the first full day. I had a uh, sleep out last night in the Nature Hike Cloud Peak 2. I do hope you can hear me. And um, yeah, I'm just gonna have uh, a cup of coffee now and then get on with the day. I'm thinking about going kayaking down the bottom end of the lake this time. But yeah, that view, that view is incredible. That is, um, it is awesome. The only thing is, apart from that sound next door. Uh, wear earplugs if you're gonna be coming here because the ducks all the way through the night just quack. <laughs> it really is. Um, oh yeah, the stove I'm gonna be using is my jet boil zip. I really need a coffee. <laughs> Yesterday was a really long day. I'm sorry about the noise, so I'm gonna cut this video a little bit short. You'll see me having a little bit of a drink of a cup of coffee, but other than that, um, I can't really do anything to that sound going on, which is a bit of a shame. I'm really nervous about this. I'm really nervous. Uh, I know I've. Um, it's not falling in. I don't know why. You just, you just know you're going to fall in. And it's a bit silly on my part, but. Oh, I hate this bit. I'm not, I'm not 100% convinced this is for me. 
I hoped it would be, but... I'm really nervous, even about just getting on the board. Wobbly it is. I'll look out for the boat, I suppose. Oh. So I'm on the paddle board. I haven't stood up yet. I just, I just can't. Um, but yeah, it's, it's trickier than it looks. Right, I'm gonna take this camera back to the tent and then I'm gonna keep at it. I'm gonna come out here again, probably out to about this point actually, because the water's actually quite stable here. Um, but it's just getting back, oh, back on the boat with, well, a GoPro on my chest. It's a little bit hard, so uh, I'm gonna head back there. And yeah, as you can see, I am. I'm kneeling down. I'm kneeling down. Ooh, hello. Hello, everyone. Welcome back to the campsite. And see, I've still got my Nature Hike Cloud Peak two up. Um, this morning. I didn't really have a plan as to what to do. Here's my holiday. And I decided to take the paddle board out. I got a little bit of experience on the River Trent in Nottingham at Beeston Marina uh, three or four weeks ago. And uh, <laughs> that, that didn't go really well. <laughs> I fell in about four or five times, but on a plus side, the River Trent, Trent doesn't taste all that bad. Um, so second time out on the paddle board today, still couldn't get still couldn't get to stand up at all um now it was actually going to be a little bit of a circular tour but me being me i um i went out to saint herbert's island which is about what 1.2 1.3 miles down a three mile dirt water from the north down and I got on the island. Unfortunately, I didn't take the camera. Um, it really was completely unplanned. And I was kneeling down the whole way. And then to give my ankles a bit of rest, because they do kind of get the pins and needles feeling, kind of laid down. And then nailed up again and tried standing up, just couldn't do it. Just that kind of fear of standing up. It's a lot harder than what you would imagine looking on. A lot of YouTube videos, I thought that it'd actually be a lot easier than what it is. And uh, yeah, so far, unfortunately, on that, I've not stood up yet, but I'll give it another go tomorrow. So I got back to camp and I thought, you know what, I'm going to go for a, a proper tour around the lake and get my kayak, my K2, my Intex K2 Explorer. And I found a little hole in it and it's an inflatable kayak. So uh, it had a about a one two millimeter hole in it and unfortunately I didn't have a repair kit with me so I had to go around Keswick looking for a repair kit and couldn't find one there's a local marina I think it's called Nickelhead I'll put the name down below but um and that I got some glue from there some that should do the job um but the kayak is now wrapped up apart from the area that needed repair and that's back in the car I've got to leave that for 24 hours to cure. So, um, yeah, a bit of a downer on that respect because I was hoping to do a wild camp this, this week. But if push comes to shove, I will have to limit my gear fully down to the bare essentials and um, take the paddle board instead. So if that appears, if that video does actually materialize, then you'll see the link up here. Everyone here is really, really lovely. And although I know it's a few days away, again, I reiterate the point that 
when I leave here, it will feel like I'm leaving home behind rather than going home. Although I miss my family. Um, I did promise the fact I do go for a swim today every day. When I got to St. Herbert's Island, I did do a swim when I was on the island. Only brief, a couple of minutes, but it still kind of counts. Um, but yeah, I'm going to go for a swim. So that'll be next, and then that'll be end of day two. So it's going quick, too quick for my liking. I can't find one of my shoes, which is why I'm walking in bare feet. And this is way too shallow. Yeah, nearly sunset. Oh, the sun is nice. Come on, do looks. Right, right. I can't really say I'm enjoying this bit. And the best bit is, I know I had them when I came back, so I put them somewhere that will drop one. That was sharp. Yeah, that was really, really sharp. As in, capital S. H. No I. Oh, there's some really big boulders there. Yeah, kind of walk. We're getting to that point where... You can talk, you can fly. I want to make it out as far as that boat and then back because the sun's setting really really quick and I mean super super quick and I'm, I'm a bit annoyed that I can't find my other boot because walking in and out with those rocks oh. Setting just over there. It's good to have your company. Weed. I kick some weed up. I still get a little bit nervous. Goodbye, buddy. My toe play wants to get in on action. Uh, time to get back now. That's sudden setting. Clear blue sky. It's gonna be another chilly one tonight. It was chilly last night, although I did overkill it on the on the old uh, sleeping bags. One. 
That view never gets old though. <laughs> this tent looking over doing cat bells and down the Borrowdale Valley. Oh, just, it doesn't get any better. It doesn't get any better than this. Just the geese <laughs> and the ducks, a little bit noisy, but last night I did keep my earplugs all the way in, which was good. I came all this way. Um, I've had one cup of coffee and I've still got a ton of food left in the car. I think it's about time I change that. So again, I'm going to be using my Jetboil Mini Mo again. Um, I've also got the Jetboil Zip with me, but I'm going to save that for potentially the wild camping if I get around to doing it. That will be in a separate video. Um, I've changed the gas canister because last time, was it yesterday? Time just feels different here. Uh, I had to keep shaking it. Kept like uh, going down to a simmer mode, the flame. Um, so hopefully I don't have that same problem today. Topped up the water from over there. So I'm going to be using my Wayfarer meals. As you can see, I've got quite a substantial pack here. No, don't look at me like that. I think it's the old beans and sausages again. Well, I'll let that boil. As I say, there is no real plan with this trip. I want to go wild camping, if not once, possibly twice. As I said, they'll be in separate videos. This is the campsite one, but um, I'm just playing each day as it comes because you're in, the, you're in the hands of the gods, really, with the weather. And there's so much I want to see and do yeah, also I need to kind of pace myself. And when you come to a place like this, there's, there is a, a lot, a lot that you can see and do. And uh, I know I'll be coming back. This isn't gonna be uh, the end of the Lake District trips for me by far, but um, I wanna go to West Water, Waste Water, West Water. Uh, I wanna do that, but I'm gonna save that for possibly next year. Um, I also want to do some more winter camping this year, um, possibly at a campsite again. The trouble is for me, where I live, there isn't really a place that you can really go wild camping. It's, it's very much a kind of residential area right in the middle of the, of the UK, of, of England. And... Yeah, uh, it's very difficult and to come to places like this is just a, a stark contrast from what I'm used to back home and... Yeah. <laughs> it's hard to really put it into words really. I mean the Peak District for me is a good hour, hour and a half drive. Uh, to come up here is, you're looking at four, maybe four and a half hours. Uh, that's starting to simmer. I've got a little audience here with food in mind. They can forget. Just turn that down a little bit because it looks like I've actually got a cauldron. Feels like it should be Halloween rather than, what, the middle of September. But yeah, the only problem with these uh, wayfaring mills is the fact you need to cook them in boiling water for the best part of about 10 minutes. So. 8.57, been going for about a minute, minute and a half. So that does use up a little bit more gas than if you use the freeze-dried food, but the freeze-dried food doesn't really kind of appeal. I'm very kind of picky on my food. So yeah, that's gonna boil away for another eight minutes and I shall catch you nearer then. All these geese look, all these geese look. They know, they know food's about, look, 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 look. 
Yeah, I'm watching you. And you're watching me. Still boiling away. There you go. They're all, they're all coming. No, 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 no. Go on. <laughs> no. No. It's sausage and beans, you wouldn't like it. No. Scram. I think they might be after my sausage and beans. And that's the first time I've ever said that. Oh, off we go. No, go. No. No. Mine. Mine. Ducks, eh? I can say that that is, yeah, that's hot. <laughs> so I'm gonna give that a couple of minutes to, uh, to cool down a little bit, otherwise it's gonna be a little bit scorchier on the old fingeroos. Um, but whilst I wait for that to cool down, I just want to hand you over to our brand new sponsor. Sponsor? Uh, Paul, I hate to break it to you, but there is no sponsor for all this channel or indeed this video. It's just you and me. Well, effectively, I suppose you could just say it's just me, all by myself. But you lovely people watching this video right now, you can help the channel no end moving forward. You can like this video, you can leave a comment, and ultimately you can subscribe to the channel and click on that bell icon to be notified of all future video releases. It really does help the channel no end moving forward. Also, you can like the Facebook group, a group which I have put a link in the description box of this video below, and also the Buy Me A Coffee site where you can help the channel, uh, you can buy me a coffee and you can subscribe to the two memberships I put on there, the TP and the Family Tent membership, but both on there, um, where I'm doing a monthly blog and a monthly blog plus reviews as well, all written down and sent to you via email. So there are ways you can help this channel moving forward, but ultimately there is no sponsors for this video. Until further notice, it might change, but at the moment, I'm all by myself. Oh dear, no sponsor. Oh well, never mind. Um, this is now cooled down and I have took the wrapper off. And this is where you're gonna see all those geese and ducks fly over and go, <gasps> pooed. Hopefully not out, still a bit warm. Um, I'll have a cup of coffee once I've eaten this. I've got a folding spork, folding spork um, from Decathlon. Four class. I've actually got a metal one somewhere, but I think that's in my wall camping gear. That's the reason why I had to bring a top box because I literally got wall camping gear, kayak gear, which sadly has a puncture, and my paddle board, which is just behind the tent. Incidentally, I have actually opened up the tent um, as best I can really, because there was a lot of condensation. We've got some really cool nights. Obviously, I'm, exha I'm exhaling, exhaling warm breath, and um, obviously that makes condensation where the warm air eats meets the cool air. That's where the condensation comes So There you go. Oh, beans and sausages, here we go. With a perfect view. I'll catch you in a minute, because you don't want to see me stuffing my face. It's just, just not pretty at all. So have a look at the view and I'll catch you once I've gobbled this down. No, views that way. Go on, you're not watching me gobble. I'm not gonna, no. Go and look at the view. Oh, it's hot. No, no, the, the, the view. Go and look at the view. I'm not, I don't want to be seen eating on YouTube. It's just not nice. Go and look at the view. Seriously, nothing to see here.
Never gets old. Oh, this just never gets old. It really doesn't. I, uh... It's going home day. They say it's going home day, really. I'm not going home, I'm leaving home behind. Um, this is my ninth trip to the Lake District. And there comes a point when you go to the same location time after time after time, and you go, you know, I'm, I'm bored. But not this place. This place is special. This place is different. You see, I came here the first time in May 2019, and I've been coming as often as I can since then. Obviously, we had a pandemic and whatever. And there are times now where I jump on the motorway and I'm literally going on the A50 and I'm going, why am I going back? Why am I going back? And then I get here and then it's like, yeah, I get it. I remember. And it's this place, the the, the majesty of the of the mountains that I mean right now there's shadows forming over and it just looks beautiful and the scenery and the things that you can do here you can go out on the lake you can you can climb a mountain you can see some amazing views and and the, the views here are incredible the people are amazing and whenever you come here there's part of you that always remains and I'm going again. And when you've been here as many times as I have, that's a, that's a big chunk of me that's right here. And um, I've got to work like crazy to get back and that's fine, I don't mind that. I, I, uh, I've got next year planned for here and not just once, twice, maybe a lot more. And I can't leave this place, I just can't. I, I'm, I'm, I'm part of it. I'm, I miss the mountains, the lakes, the town, uh, Keswick especially, and, and the people. The people here are amazing. And um, if you've ever been here to the Lake District and you've tried to leave and you just know that you can't, then I understand that feeling. And that's exactly the way I am now. But the trouble is I have responsibilities with Buster and I have family commitments, but I will find a way to come here permanently because I can't keep doing this to myself. 
I can't keep coming here and feel like I'm being ripped apart because I have to go home that isn't home anymore. This is home. And I apologise for being emotional. I know I'm a big, giant, fat wuss, but it's just me, my emotions, and I, um, I never try and hide them. So there we go, folks. Sorry about being a big, fat wuss, but there we go. I need to come back here as soon as I can. I need to um, find a way. Anyway, I need to get that tent down and uh, get packed up. Well, the tent's absolutely saturated with condensation. So rather than put it into its normal stuff sack, I'm gonna uh, put it into a 30 litre dry bag and then dry it out when I get back. Okay, uh, car is all packed. Just gonna make sure I've left nothing behind. As in the case of wild camping, make sure you leave no trace, leave it in the same fashion that you found it in. And I am, apart from a big square patch of flat luminous grass. If you made this far, thank you very much for watching. I'm gonna leave you with a view of cat bells whilst I go and do a little bit of shopping in Keswick before I, I head back to the place I live normally and uh, leaving home behind. So yeah, thanks for watching, take care folks. Thank <laughs> you.